Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to create a blower up casing using Creo Parametric. So let's get started and enter the part name as blower and click the default template. And let's view it as MM as part solid. Now I'm going to use the extrude for the right plane go for the sketch. So here I'm going to draw a circle at the center point with a diameter of 120 and then I'm going to delete the unwanted segments and then I'm going to finish this sketch then click on OK. Then I'm going to extrude this to a value of 80 on the both sides extrude so click on OK. So now I'm going to create a sweep blend feature for this. So for that we need to create some sketch features. So now go for the sketch, select the right plane, go for the sketch and go for the sketch view. Here at first I'm going to make some references for this line and I'm going to draw an arc from here to here like this and you enter the radius as 100 it increases too much so then draw an arc without any constraints like this enter radius of 100 then I am going to draw a line like this and I am going to make tangent for this line and this circle as you can see here it is concentrated so I am going to enter the total length as a value of 135 then I am going to divide this sketch so go for the divide select this point and enter the value of 55 here for making a separate sweep for this place so now select a point and drop it like this delete this segment then click on ok so now our sketch is got completed let's go for the sweep blend select the sketch go for the sweep blend so i'm going to use sweep blend from this direction so flip this and go for the sections and go for the sketch and go for the sketch view so here at first i'm going to draw a center line like this and go for the corner rectangle draw a rectangle like this and the both the sides equal and enter the height to be a value of 72 and this length as 52 and then make the edges into fillet let's go for the dimensions I need fillet radius to be a value of 15 here for all the sides as the same value of 15 then our sketches got completed so I am going to give ok for this so now our success one is got created so now I am going to insert another sketch at this point which we got divided section go for the sketch go for the sketch view here are same we need to create a center line like this go for the corner rectangle with the equal constraints and this height as 58 and this length as 42 create a fillet for these edges enter the fillet radius as a value of 15 then click on ok as you can see our section 1 and section 2 is got completed so now let's create our final sweep blend go for the insert and as an end location as total end as you selected here go for the sketch and go for the sketch view here I am going to get a center line for the first then I am going to draw a corner rectangle then the side must be a value of 58 as we do for the second section it will be repeated 42 check 
whether it is in the center line as you can see close it create a fillet and enter the fillet radius to be a value of 15 So now click on OK. As you can see here, our part sweep bend part is got completed. So go for the options and select the set perimeter control. So now click on OK. So then hide this sketch. Then I am going to create a round feature for this line to a value of 5 then click on ok so then I am going to create a cell feature for this go for the cell select this line and enter the thickness of 2 here and for the bottom and enter the thickness for 1 enter the total thickness of 0 0.5 then click on OK. As you can see, there is an extruded part, it is not a problem for us. So, then I am going to create an extruded hole for this side. So, now let us go for the extrude and select this face and go for the sketch tree. So, here I am going to draw a circle at this center point 90 as a dia. Click on OK flip the direction remove material and for 2 next and then click on ok so as you can see our part is got extruded so next i am going to extrude on this surface select this surface go for the sketch and go for the sketch view i am going to draw a circle with a diameter of 30 and click on ok and flip the direction go for the remove material and click on ok so now our all parts are created so i am going to create a rib here so click on this plane go for the sketch and go for the sketch view here at first i am going to make reference for this outer circles then i am going to project these circles close it then i am going to draw a corner rectangle like this and delete the unwanted segments Let's go for the dimensions. Select this line and this line. I need this total value to be a value of 165. For the dimensions, select this line and this center line. This is 165 divided by 2. As you can see, it meets the center position. I need this side to be a value of 5. Then click on OK. Extrude this on both the sides and enter a value of 80 then click on ok so now i am going to create a hole feature for this as the four holes so go for the hole select this face and drag one for this line and drag another for this line i need this value as 10 and this value is as 10 and i need a diameter of 5 so click on ok so now i am going to pattern this hole towards directional pattern click this direction and flip this flip here and in a number of 4 the spacing of 20 then click on ok so now our hall walls are created so i am going to mirror this towards this plane you can use mirror tool for this or you can go for the pattern again select as a directional pattern select this line and the other spacing of 145 click on ok so now all our whole features are created so our blower part is created so let's give some appearances to our product before that we need to give some round features for this for this edge so i'm going to enter the value of 
5 here, select this edge and this edge and this edge and repeat it for the opposite side. Then click on OK. Then I am going to add another round feature for this edge. So go for the round and enter a value of 2 here and select this line. As you can see both sides are rounded successfully. Then close it. So now all our parts are created. So let us give some appearances to this blower. Go for the view. Go for the appearances. And as it is a metal, I am going to select this metallic color as the entire border. So now if we go for shading with reflection it may look good. So thanks for watching guys. So if you want more videos related to mechanical engineering or any other content you can comment below. And if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe to get new videos. And don't forget to like this video guys.